so we just finished filling the boards up so now that you're ready for supping there are some ways to go in the water here you can order um, put the board there and just try to go over it from the level or you can just come here it's walkable and then the water is not even cold or anything so I, I will do this way I think it's fine and easier so let's do this I hope I don't fall in the water okay at least you're in that was fine <laughs> step one good have to be careful because there in the beginning it's not deep but then later it gets a bit deeper and it's kind of a sudden so watch for it look at Frank coming on the board <laughs> and we're gonna go this way because that's the center on the board <laughs> oh that's so nice that's so beautiful I really I really recommend you guys to do this so, I'll just... Oh, it's the best! I'm so proud of him, so proud of It's so beautiful, look at this! I want to do it standing as well. I'll stand a bit. Ah, but we're gonna have a bridge over there soon. <laughs> Frank just asked it, are you brave enough to stand up? Oh yeah! <laughs> and I don't want to fall because I don't know, this wood I think it's clean, right? It's just very brownish, but it's from soil, it's not from yeah. dirtiness. There, is no, there are no motorboats here, so there's not much pollution. Yeah, so... Yeah, maybe if I get in the water, I'll just get a lot of sand all around. But uh, not gonna be contaminated. So I'm gonna try to stand up. This is the stand up paddle. <laughs> okay, so just go. Yeah. Let's go now. A bit more tension. Ooh. Ah, but it's so nice. So beautiful, peaceful. Gosh, I want to come here a lot. But I think it'll take a while to get to the center in this velocity. <laughs> Calm. First is low. Oh, that is so good because there is no waves at all. Right? It's a canal, so... No waves and it's a peaceful canal, so no movements. And Frank is there in front of me. Uh, yeah, now finally the summer came to Holland, it's 24 degrees today and it's going to get warmer next week, it's going to be 30 degrees, so now we're going to have a lot of opportunities to do this in Holland, this kind of sports, in the water, yeah, time of temperature that we are <laughs> used to in Brazil, but here it's, it's, it's just in the summertime uh, and now it's spring, and end, end of spring. Great, I love it. And I will try to vlog a bit because yeah, I like to to record those vlogs to have for memory, you know. In the future we can look wow remember 10 years ago we were so young, we used to do this radical thing. <laughs> wow, that's so peaceful. Oh, there is a boat. 
coming. I think I'll come down. Honestly, I think doing stuff here is as beautiful as in Amsterdam. The city is very old and yeah, med medieval times. And... Right, baby? That's as beautiful as Amsterdam. I think more beautiful. More beautiful, according to Frank. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go to the city center. And it's quite beautiful here as well. So I want to show you. Behind me. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there. Yeah. The sun is so nice, warm. Uh oh, bridge. A bit of a squat. A bit of a squat. I can do a squat here, but. Back. <laughs> <laughs> I have to squat a lot. Big squat. For Frank. I'm on your knee. Woohoo! Yeah, Amisford is a city that is not as big as Amsterdam. It's actually much smaller than Amsterdam. Much. Much smaller. Well, not that Amsterdam is huge, you know, if you compare to Sao Paulo in Brazil. But for Dutch standards, Amsterdam, I think, is the most busy and big. And yeah, and here is more chill. It's more like a city for people that want to build a family, you know. People can here buy a bigger house because it's cheaper. And yeah, you can also go to Amsterdam by train. It's not so far, it's like, depend, it depends on where in Amsterdam exactly you're going. If you're going to the south, it's about 35 minutes by train. If you go low, uh, more far, it can be one hour by train. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a way to live uh, in a nice city with quality of life, with this environment, without paying a lot. And being close to this, to the big city. Right, Frank? Yeah. You agree? Totally agree. Frank was born and raised in Amersfoort, and he loves Amersfoort. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I sometimes I miss a bit of the more options of bars and shows and things like this. Because I'm a big city girl. I'm from São Paulo. And here we just have one bar with live music. <laughs> but there are other things that are good. For example, this. So yeah, can't have it all. And yeah, if I want to go out, I can go to Amsterdam too. I can be in a train, go there, do things, and then come back here. So now we really are in the city center. There is a lot of restaurants around me. And you hear the bells? They have this tower here. Very, very old again. <laughs> oh, baby, baby. <laughs> Frank, 
Come on. <laughs> Someone just passed it listening to beat Britney Spears very out loud. <laughs> he was a noteman. <laughs> He's young in spirit. So now we're gonna just pedal back because tonight Holland is playing the Euro Cup and Frank is going to be receiving his friends at home. So we have to go home, back and clean, you know, <laughs> prepare the house to receive uh, his friends. And yeah, that was lovely to come here. I want to do it again many times. give you this tip if you go under those very low bridges it's difficult to be paddling here because uh, you don't have much movement but look what you can do you can just touch the, the roof just touch the roof and push yourself forward it's much faster it's a bit dirty but then you wash your hands in the water much better than paddling just touch the roof there you go <laughs> and wash your hands later There's a lot of pollen in the air because there is a lot of plants and in the spring people get a lot of allergies and they get to sneeze a lot to get their eyes red and itchy and I'm one of those people and yeah a lot of people in Holland have this it's quite normal like I think one in three something like this and what I did today, I took um, pills for, for the allergy before I left the house. I took an Allegra, it's called, it's a pill that I was recommended. Someone said, yeah, that's a very good one. That's a very good one. It's really effective. So I uh, tried this one and I tried and yeah, I was okay until now. I just had this news before I put the camera on. That's why I remember to mention this. And yeah, if you have this thing, this allergy as well, I do recommend you to get this Allegra because yeah, I just had one sneeze during the whole uh, paddling experience in the middle of the nature. So it seems quite effective. Also, I have tried Echinacea, which is... Um, I have tried some... I have tried some natural solutions as well. I have tried echinacea, propolis, but it didn't work. I had to go to medication because the natural ones didn't work. And this ear is a little bit serious. So I'm trying again all the kind of pills. If you know some, recommend me. This Allegra seems to work. I just took it one now before I left the house and I just had one sneeze. So 
I'm I'm fine, I guess. Ah, and there is also a spray, but I forgot to use it. I bought it, but I forgot to use it. And a spray for the eyes. I bought this spray, it was 20 euros. I forgot that. It's a spray, you do it over your eyes. So you don't have the, uh, the eyes itching. Maybe I don't have anything right now because I have the glasses on and they're kind of protecting my face, my eyes from the pollen. But sometimes I do. Maybe when I get home and I take the glasses off, maybe I'll get the itching. I hope not. But yeah, if you have some tips about it, I'm accepting. I'm trying everything. <laughs> Hopefully this Allegra is gonna be my last one. But yeah. Wow, there is echo here. I'm under a tunnel. It's quite fun to talk with an echo. <laughs> and I'm quite silly. Very silly person. I don't look like 36. Not in mentally, <laughs> not in anything. But I have fun. So that was the tip of the day and the request of advice of the day. If you have something about allergies, if you know solutions for the pollen allergy, I know also there is a treatment. I was told. And I do want to try it, but I didn't go to the house arts yet to ask for it. So, yeah, I'm quite happy that this Allegra worked for me. Where we go?